In this video, we are going to see how to import the data from one Google spreadsheet to another. Also add a data validation considering the imported data. So let's start with the video. This is the very first spreadsheet drop down list wherein I have already mentioned a data from in the cell A2 to A8. I've added weekdays. This I have already opened a different tab for a different spreadsheet named data validation. So now I wish to add a drop down in my second workbook or a spread second spreadsheet. Considering the data of my first one, that is the drop down list. So I want weekdays as drop down or in case in future, if I edit the first spreadsheet, then I want the drop down list to be updated. So here is how we'll be doing it. Let's give the name for the sheet one as data and add one more sheet named sheet two. So in the first sheet data, we'll write a formula as equal to import range open the inverted commas over here there should be a spreadsheet URL so I'll take the spreadsheet URL not the edit hash grid is equal to the number will only take up to the Y paste it over here put a comma and a range string that you want to import so basically, I want to add this particular range, right? That is from drop down sheet. The name is drop down data. So I'll add drop down into the inverted commas. Drop down data exclamation mark K2 colon A8. Close the inverted commas, close the bracket and enter. So it is loading. First, it will show an error asking the access of the spreadsheet. So this is a very important step. Whenever you are trying to import the data through Google spreadsheet, you need to have access to both the spreadsheet and you need to allow and give the permission of taking the data. So once I click on allow, it is it will import all the data. Now I want the drop downs to be created. So in the sheet two, considering the scenario that there are employees and we are assigning them a week off. So we'll put the employee ID. So we are having 10 employees with employee ID number 1001 to 1010. Now I need to add the data validation from the imported data. So over here, we'll click on insert drop down. So here there is only B2 selected, but if you want to select a range, you can select the range. You can remove the entire date. So I have to like select it B2 to B11, click on OK. So over here, the option should be drop down from a range and you can click on the select data range icon. Select the data range that you want. Tab on the bar and go to the spreadsheet that is data sheet. Select the range that is data sheet exclamation A1 to A7 and click on OK. So automatically the data is fetched and you're done. So click on done. So considering the sheet two. So over here, we have got all the drop downs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So now let's take an example that we are editing this option. Uh, in case of Monday, I just want over here as M. Let's say in case of Tuesday, I just want the UE. Okay. Once I edit the data in this first spreadsheet and I go and check my second spreadsheet where we have imported the data. Now you can check 
that the data has already been edited automatically because you have given the access. Now, considering the drop down list in the second sheet, let's go to the drop down. It is automatically updated. So this is how you can import the data and you can add data validation for the imported data range. Thank you for watching the video.